What's up everybody? Willie and Nana with the Garcia Real Estate Team here in Whittier, California. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living, playing, eating, and what the Spyglass Hills neighborhood is all about, then make sure you tap the subscribe button down below. You click that little bell so that you are notified every single time we do a brand new video. That's right, folks. We're getting so many people calling us in regards to moving out to Whittier that we just absolutely love, love it. it. So if you're considering selling or buying, simply pick up the phone give us a phone call, send us an email, send us a text message, or even a lightning bolt. Whichever way you'd like to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Whittier, California. Hey folks, for many of you thinking of purchasing a house in Whittier, being close to the freeway or having easy freeway access is a huge determining factor for many families when considering moving into a certain neighborhood. The farther east you are in Whittier, the farther the freeway will become. For example, if you decide to buy a property in the vicinity of Whittier Boulevard and Colima Road, you'll be approximately anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes away from the freeway. In our last few episodes, we showcased a few neighborhoods, right, Anna? Yes, the Sun Gold Hills neighborhood, yep. the neighborhood behind the Whitwood Town Center, That's right. and mm -hmm. the three Whittier Historic Districts. Right. And in this episode, we are gonna take you on a tour of Spyglass Hills, which is in West Whittier, and by the 605 freeway. Spyglass Hills is in West Whittier and the major cross streets are Workman Mill Road and Spyglass Hill Road. The neighborhood is made up of approximately 464 single family residents, 36 condominiums, and it covers an area of five square miles. Here are some of the reasons why Spyglass Hills is highly sought out. The majority of these houses are built on hillsides, which means many of the properties have some amazing views. On a clear day, you have a great views of downtown LA and all the city lights. The neighborhood is very private, secure, and serene. And the majority of the properties are over 2,000 square feet of living space. And the lots are huge. You have easy access to the 605 freeway and the 60 freeway. Now let's take a look at a few homes that recently sold so you can get a better perspective of the house condition and the price they sold for it. For example, this house is on Rancho Verde Drive. It's a three bedroom, two bath home with 1,849 square feet of living space. And the lot is 12,952 square feet. This house has been nicely landscaped and has many upgrades. The kitchen has cherry wood cabinets with granite countertops, full length granite backsplash, tan lighting, wood-like porcelain tile floors, and stainless steel appliances. The living room is open to the kitchen and has a brick veneered fireplace with huge vaulted ceilings. The bathrooms have been fully remodeled with new quartz and granite countertops, can lighting, a jacuzzi spa, and wood-like porcelain tile flooring. The master bedroom has sliding barn doors that lead into the master bathroom and double pane sliding glass doors that lead to the sparkling pool. The backyard mostly consists of a large swimming pool. This house has new double pane windows, new air conditioning, new Spanish tile roof, new wood-like porcelain and flooring throughout, new water heater and carpet. Now, what's really nice about this home here is that the views from this house are just beautiful. You can see the city lights. It's just a really, really nice house. Now this house here recently sold for 880,000. Here's another house that recently sold on Banyan Rim Drive. This is a four bedroom, three bath home with 2,493 square feet of living space. And the lot size is also large. It's 8,986 square feet. This house has been remodeled and it includes new maple cabinets, granite countertops, travertine backsplash, a breakfast nook, tan lighting, 
stainless steel appliances and a beautiful farmer's sink. The house has a large living room which includes a nice fireplace, travertine floors, can lighting, and crown and vase molding. The bathrooms have been remodeled and consist of new vanities with granite countertops, floor to ceiling, travertine tiled shower walls, travertine floors, vase and crown molding. There's a beautiful staircase that leads to the second floor. The bedrooms are spacious and includes hardwood floors, base and crown molding. The house has a separate laundry room. Additionally, double pane windows, plantation shutters, a new air conditioning system, and an attached two car garage. Now, this particular home sold for 890,000. Our final house is located on Rustic Hill Drive and it consists of four bedrooms, three baths, the living space is 2,428 square feet and the lot size is large, it is large, it's 9,927 square feet. This house has been nicely landscaped and has some amazing panoramic city views. The kitchen has new cherry wood cabinets, granite countertops, tumble stone backsplash, can lighting, double ovens, stainless steel appliances, and some amazing views of the city from the kitchen. The house has a large step-down living room with lots of natural light, a red brick fireplace, hardwood floors, and custom crown molding. Now there's a beautiful wood staircase with custom wrought iron that leads to the second floor. The bathrooms are an older remodel and they consist of double and single sink vanities white tile shower walls and tile flooring. The master bedroom has vaulted ceilings, a master bathroom, glass sliding doors that lead to the deck and some amazing and I mean amazing views of the city. The house has double pane windows, a three car garage and central air conditioning. The backyard is spacious and includes a large covered patio with plenty of space for gatherings but most importantly, what's amazing about this house, it's just these beautiful city views. Now this house sold recently for 995,000. Spyglass Hill is within minutes uptown Whittier where there is lots of shopping and restaurants. You have Rio Hondo College, Whittier High School, California Country Club, and if you even like hiking, you have the Hellman Trails. So there you have it. Hopefully this episode gives you a better perspective of what the Spyglass Hills neighborhood is all about. That's right, folks. If you're considering moving out to Whittier or like to see one of these neighborhoods, simply give us a phone call, send us an email, send us a text message, or even a lightning bolt. Whichever way you'd like to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Whittier, California. <laughs>